Is our mind limited? The question of the limits of the human mind touches one core aspect of philosophy, psychology and neuroscience. The human mind is incredibly powerful, but like any other skill or system, it has certain limitations. For example, cognitive limits. Cognitively, we encounter limits to information processing. For example, our short-term memory can only hold a limited number of items at a time, typically about 7 plus or minus 2. Our attention is also limited. We can only focus on a certain number of things at a time without losing efficiency. We have also biological limits. Biologically, the limits are dictated by the structure and function of our brain. Neurological processes are tied to the biochemical and physiological properties of our brain, which influences both our perception and our cognitive abilities. For example, our sensory systems are only able to, dete to detect a certain range of stimuli, for example, light or sound waves that are outside a certain frequency range are beyond our ability to perceive. We have also theoretical limits. In the theoretical and philosophical perspective, there are discussions about the limits of understanding or cognition. Some complex systems, such as the weather or the functioning of the brain itself, can be difficult to fully understand or predict due to their enormous complexity and the involvement of many interacting parts. Philosophers such as Immanuel Kant have argued that there are aspects of reality that are things in themselves that we can never fully grasp through our sensory experience or pure reason. Cultural and linguistic boundaries of our mind. Our cultural background and the language we speak also influence how we understand and interpret the world. These boundaries are not insurmountable, but they shape our perspective and can guide or limit our thinking in certain directions. Expanding boundaries. Despite these limitations, the human mind is remarkably adaptable and capable of learning and involving. Through education, technological tools and interdisciplinary research, we can overcome or expand some of these boundaries. Using computers and artificial intelligence to expand our Cognitive abilities is one example of how we can complement how we can complement our natural limitations. Overall, there are certainly limits to what the human mind can achieve, but the history of human achievement shows that we continually find ways to expand and exceed these limits. But in addition to all these aspects, each and every one of us, beyond education, culture, religion and other limitations, can reach a level of our existence that is far beyond what we can explain. It is possible to have spiritual experiences that allow us to understand without being able to explain it. When you really go on a journey to look for answers to questions that only concern our respective selves, the functioning of mathematics, business administration or science becomes completely irrelevant because you reach a level of knowledge that is completely beyond what we call the mind. As terrible as the past 10 years have been for me, in many ways they have been helpful in opening doors that I did not know existed. My mind is certainly not always the brightest, but the truths that can be sensed are more than true and existent. Regardless of your knowledge, what are the limits of your mind? What would you like to know and understand? Wouldn't it be exciting and, above all, extremely helpful if you could expand your limits?